All right, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Call Haloyim, La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash, double honor to the head elders, the apostles and bishops, a great millstone, Shalom, to you, Akim, throughout the world. Pushing his word, sincerity and truth, and enduring afflictions. It's Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you children of Israel. For the Lord Yahweh Bashem Al Shai hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. Okay, so understand that you so called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans is the Israel that the Bible is speaking of. And you was brought here, and you were uh, put into captivity and slavery here because of your transgressions, your rebellious behavior against the most high your god and so you were subjugated under your enemies the the top nation that was prophesied to come into rulership over you is the nation of edom the descendants of esau who is the so-called white man okay and they call themselves american they call themselves german they call themselves french spanish russian so on and so forth all right, but these are the Edomites that the Bible speaks of. And the Lord said he has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the most high in the land. And that's partly due because of your, you so-called black, Latinos, Native Americans, your rebellion against the most high. Because the most high, his, his way is the truth. All right. And his way provides mercy. All right. If you follow in it. In sincerity all right if you truly you know break one of the law statutes and commandments you know in ignorance or to the lack of knowledge there's mercy that can be extended from the Heavenly Father but instead the attitude the majority of Jake take has taken with the law of the Most High is they don't want to do nothing they don't want anything to do with it you see they don't want anything to do with the law of the Most High. So they cast it from them. So they pretty much do away with the, the mercy of the Heavenly Father. You know, so that's why it's prophesied and decreed in the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8, that two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay? As you look at the majority of so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, they don't want nothing to do with righteousness, man. They're 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 uh, comfortable in their own little bubble of bullshit. All right, their idols and their superstitions and their opinions and their you know their their stupid, deceitful, disgusting lusts. Okay, and yes, the so-called white man has a major hand in that. Because he's the people of sin, he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. But nonetheless, you Israelites had a kingdom too. You got to understand that. Read, read, you know, the book of First Chronicles, First, uh, First Kings, Second Kings, First Chronicles, Second Chronicles. That's what that was. You, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. So you're not off the hook, man. Yeah, our people went into darkness, but they've been our uh, a majority of J uh, Israel has been chosen the ways of the wicked. You see, this is something that ain't even talked about enough, but it's the truth. Because if knowing that we're the true Israelites, our our history stems right back to that. It stems back to the kingdoms of Judah and the kingdoms of Israel. Okay? And what was what was going on? Idolatry, man. People being rebellious against the Most High. You right? Man. So I can, man. Anyway, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out. And blood touch of blood, man. That's why, man. Lord willing, I'm, I'll be a part of that 
that uh, that number, man. Because you know, dealing with you niggas out here, man, is it's it's truly it's truly it's a it's a nightmare, man. It's a it's a living, breathing nightmare to deal with you niggas, man. And yes, the so-called white man is at the top of the list, but god damn, man. How much more, like the Lord said, how much more does he got to do to you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans? But you know, the water y'all by Shemiel Shah for the remnant, man. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of the heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away, man. All right, that's about to come to America in a major way. This is Babylon the Great. And if you truly understood that and believed that, you would repent. I'll say that much. You would repent from your bullshit. All right. So with that, I give all praises to you. Hallelujah. Shalom.